Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. The FabFitFun Winter 2020 add-on sale and box customization season is upon us and this is my tips, tricks, and product reviews video. So before I get into recording my computer screen, I actually have some of the makeup products that are available in the sale here and I thought I would go ahead and do a little bit of a try on and swatching for you so you could see what they look like and then I will get into recording my computer screen and showing you the tricks that I use to help pare down my car help me decide if I want to purchase a product or not. I will show you what's in my cart and then I will show you the entire sale, what's available, and tell you as much as I can possibly remember about those products. And then I will show you my box customizations. So in the description box below, I will put a ton of information with sale dates and timestamps to points of interest in the video so you can jump around, as well as links to any websites or anything like that that I reference in the video as I talk about stuff. So first, let's get into swatching these things. So I am going to show you the Ilia lip tint. This one is in the color Arabian Nights. I happen to have it. So it is lovely packaging. I do like the Ilia brand. I'll talk a little bit more about it in the video. So this is the packaging. It is well done. And this is the lip stick. It looks stunning, doesn't it? My first impression of this was pretty bad though. It, my first impression is not the same as what I think of it now though. I am starting to appreciate this lipstick. It is a lot like a really nice Burt's Bees tinted chapstick. I will put it on right now. So you can see the color is nothing like what you think it could be from this. It is very much a tinted chapstick. It actually looks really nice on the finder. See, this is growing on me. My first impression was like, oh my God, this is a terrible product, but it's completely growing on me. I think that looks really lovely. So I'm gonna swatch it just on my hand for you. I'm not sure if that can give you kind of a different idea. So that's what it looks like just on my hand. It does definitely give a different idea from what it looks like on my lips. My first impression also, this isn't scented. They didn't put any scent to hide the waxy fragrance of lipstick. So it smells like crayons. When I first put it on, I thought, oh my gosh, this smells like crayons. And then I realized, wait, this is how lipstick used to smell. And then people started putting fragrance into their lipstick. And the thing with Ilya is they don't use things like fragrance and harmful ingredients at all. They're a very natural, sustainable, cruelty-free company, which I really, really like that, that about the brand. For $11 in the sale, if you like things like a really, really nice tinted chapstick that does feel very, very nourishing and moisturizing on the lips, then this could be for you. Now I have, now this isn't the full size. This is a deluxe size of the Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek. And mine is in the shade Work. So I got this with an order during my birthday month from Sephora. This was, this came as a little birthday gift. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch this as well. So this is the shade Work. And we'll do this one on the other hand. We'll see how it taps out with my fingers. Oh, I haven't used it yet. This is a first impression for sure. And I find my first impressions are often not what my impression of a product ends up being. But anyway, so that's this shade work. Let's see if I can tap it out. So it really tapped out very sheer. Let's see if it's buildable. And I suppose you don't have to tap it out as much as I just did. So that's how that looks. It looks pretty good. I know I put it on the high point. Typically people put blushes on the apples of their cheeks. I've been experimenting putting my blush a little bit higher up on my cheekbone lately. I think this could be really pretty, really subtle, really, really subtle, and I think it could be very buildable. So if you like more of a dramatic cheek look or if you have maybe a darker skin tone and you need a little bit more color, that definitely looks like it built up. I talk a little bit more in my video. I already recorded the recorded screen part of this video. I talk a little bit more about milk makeup in my video. And then I have the Laura Geller Lash Boss Mascara. So this one isn't available in the sale. The Lash Boss Max Mascara is though. I got this in the last sale or the sale before that and I love it. I really, really like it. So I'm going to show you how well this applies. I will zoom in um, and I assume 
I'm assuming the formula is fairly similar. The spoolie though on the Lash Boss Max that is available on the sale is very, very different. And I have been wanting to try a spoolie like the one on that wand. So I am going to be picking that up in the sale, especially because I love the formula of this. So I'm gonna show you how this applies. I have been reaching for this so much. So on this one, the spoolie is just a straight one and it's fairly narrow, which I like. And you're gonna see when I apply mascara, I like to push inward from the outer corners first. I've never seen anyone do their mascara the way I do. It just is what makes sense to me because I feel like I get as much product on the outer corners of my lashes as I can if I start doing it that way to get more emphasis on the outer part of my eye. So I like doing that. So that you can see this goes on really cleanly. It is very lengthening. It's not as volumizing, but my it separates my lashes nicely, no clump. I think it is just a really lovely mascara. It's so easy to apply. It dries nicely. It doesn't smudge. So if you like a volumizing mascara, you could definitely pair this one and layer with a separate volumizing mascara because this one, although a little bit volumizing, I think it's mostly lengthening, at least for me. So I really, really like this mascara. You can see the difference between the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and even myself out right now. Okay, so I'm all evened out. Now I want to show you from Trustique. They have the mini eye set, which has has an eyeliner, a cream shadow, two cream shadows actually, a light colored one and a brown colored one. And then it has also a mini brow pencil. I am not gonna show you the entire set. I do have a video where I am wearing it and I do review it, but I'm not gonna do the full on set right now, but I will show you this brow pencil. I do like the set. I think that it makes it really easy to do a quick, simple, everyday eye look. It is really, really surprisingly nice. And I feel like it doesn't get a lot of mention. So this is the brow pencil though, and I'll show you the brow pencil. It has like a triangle tip. I'm gonna show you how this applies. I also do my eyebrows in a way that I have never really seen anyone do their eyebrows. This is how I do them. I start on the outside and I go against the way the hair grows. This is what I was advised to do by somebody who stopped me in the mall once and wanted to play with my eyebrows. She was really, really bored. And she said that this is the best way. She thinks that eyebrows can be done. And I didn't really used to do my eyebrows before that little encounter. <laughs> So that's how I learned to do them and I really like the way I can get my eyebrow product onto my eyebrow by doing it that way because I feel like I can get down to my skin much more easily than if I go the typical way that I see in beauty tutorials. So there it is. The way this applies does remind me of the ABH Brow Wiz pencil. It's not very heavy. You can't make mistakes easily with it. You have to press a little bit firmly to get just a tiny bit on and then you can build up the color if you want so I do like this a lot so there we go and then I would typically put a brow gel over that but I'm not going to because this isn't a get ready with me video so that's it those are all of the products that I have that I wanted to do a little bit of a try on for you because I just happen to have them in my collection I may have more but those are the ones that came to mind anyway so like I said if you're unfamiliar with my videos what I do is I record my computer screen to go over the sale and everything that I do to help me pare down my cart and decide if I want to purchase a product. So right now I am going to go into recording my computer screen. I'm going to talk about my cart. I'm going to talk about the products. I'm going to talk about the box customizations and all of the tricks that I use to help me decide which product I want to buy. So let's get into recording my computer screen now. So here we are in my computer screen. So one of the first things I do to decide if I want to buy something or not is I check to see if the product is cruelty free and this is obviously an add-on sale but I'm going to show you my favorite cruelty free 
reference site. It's cruelty-free-kitty.com. There are several other reference sites and some use different parameters to gauge whether or not something's cruelty-free. So you might find some conflicting information if you check different places, but if, once you get to know each site, you'll understand why they uh, have different information. Um, I'm not going to get into all of that right now, but this is the site that I like the best. You can use PETA, there's Cruelty Free International, and I believe there are others. So this is CrueltyFreeKitty.com. I will link all of the websites that I talk about in this video in the description box below. And on the very home page for this website, if you scroll down just a bit, there is a box here where you can search for brands and you can see they have over 700 brands that they have added to their database that you can search so let it let's pick a brand let's pick Murad for instance so Murad should pop up yeah here they have that in their database and here here we go Murad is cruelty free so if you're fine with that you can go ahead and get it if you want to be a little bit more strict with yourself it's totally up to you I tend to be more strict sometimes I uh, am a little more flexible depending on how strong I'm feeling or whatever in the moment but for the most part I tend to be fairly strict it helps me honestly it helps me save a lot of money and um, yeah so the Mirad is considered cruelty free, but if you read here, you'll see this line says, but they are owned by Unilever and Unilever is not cruelty free. So you can decide how strict you want to be with yourself. I tend to not purchase Mirad now because of this. But I have used a lot of Myriad in the past and they are a really, really good brand. So even though whether or not something's cruelty free in the website, I will go on to tell you what I've heard about it. And if I've heard if it's a really good product or not, I, there's absolutely no judgment on my channel, whatever you decide to do. Um, so this is one way I check, one thing I check to see if I want to purchase a product. Another thing I checked, it check is I check on skincharisma.org if I want to learn about about ingredients so there are there have been a few ingredients that I've decided that I want to steer clear of for myself just because they're not necessarily the greatest for us so you know Mirad's right here I'm just gonna take this product if you go to the ingredient list this doesn't have a lot of ingredients that's a really short ingredient list anyway we're gonna copy we're gonna copy this ingredient list we're going to go over to skincharisma.org and if you click on cosmetic analyzer right here on the home page and I want to point in that you can create an account for yourself and if you do that you can flag ingredients within your account so that you can more quickly decide if you are interested in a in a product based on their ingredients or not um, because it's hard to remember some of the ingredients they have such long names anyway so if you go to the cosmetics cosmetic analyzer and then this box appears and you paste the list into this box and you click analyze product and it gives you a little like report of the product ingredients so you can see up here there is quick product and product notes. There's notable effects and ingredients, ingredients related to skin types, so dry skin, oily, sensitive, and then if uh, there are low, moderate, or high risk ingredients. This has low risk ingredients, so that's great. And then if you go to this section, the product ingredient list, it breaks it out by each ingredient and tells you a little bit more. So you can see the ingredient alcohol in here is bad for dry skin and sensitive skin. So that is something here in the notes section where it'll, it will tell you a little bit more about the ingredients there. And then here on the left side, there are two ratings. One is the EDWG and the other is the Cosmetics Ingredients Review. So those websites, usually I pull those up and I forgot to do that, sorry. So the EWG is the Environmental Working Group. And so here is their website for some reason. Okay. And so this is the home page. If you go down here to Skin Deep right here, this is where you can search the ingredients 
So for instance here, alcohol, we'll just do alcohol. Alcohol from the EWG, it has a rating of two. So if you copy that and you go over to this box right here and paste it in, you can search and you can just learn a little bit more about what the EWG has to say about alcohol as an ingredient. So you would scroll down and uh, we searched it and you know, there's probably the alcohol returns so many results. I'm going to use a different ingredient because that was not a good example. Let's try penylene glycol. Sorry about that. We're going to we're going to find that one cuz I want to show you what it will tell you about the ingredient. Okay, here, this is much better. So here, penylene glycol, this, these are the matches for the search results, basically. They show you these little boxes. And you can see this is the one that really matches the best. And so you can click that, and you can go, and you can scroll down, and you can just see more about the ingredients, the types of products that have this ingredient, uh, and more information. So not a lot of information it has a really good safety rating so you don't need to be worried about that now we're gonna go to CIR I wish I picked a product that had more questionable ingredients so that you could see that so here is the website homepage for the other rating they show you so here that was I just showed you the EWG now we're gonna look at the CIR website it's the cosmetic ingredient review and if you go here this is the homepage and you click on ingredients and you can paste the ingredient name there and then you hit search and then this one comes up with like journal articles like medical journal articles on the ingredients so this is a really really good website if you really want to get scientific and you want to feel like you're reading something that has had a uh, scientific method and data and studies applied to it. My baby is starting to cry and I think I need to pause recording. Um, we'll see how much he starts to cry. So that is another thing that I check. I look at ingredients and if some red flags come up, I won't get it for myself. If you have sensitive skin, I really highly recommend using this as a resource for yourself. I have been really surprised to see how many ingredients there are that are used that are in so many things that are just not good for sensitive skin. And I really, I really feel for you. I don't have sensitive skin anyway. Okay. So that's another way. Another thing that I do is I just go to the website of the brand and I check to see if I feel like I connect with the brand. And if I don't, I, it is a really good way for me personally to figure out if I want to purchase something. Okay. So that, that's a couple of tips that I use. Another thing that I highly recommend is I highly recommend going to the FabFitFun forum and the way you get there is you go to the homepage and you hover over community. And then if you click on forum, you will see a web page with a whole bunch of community threads on the right hand side here, right here. And I am following a few of them that are about this sale in particular so that you can, I can see what other members are saying. So I am following, and I really, really like this thread. I have not seen a thread like this. This one's called the worst add-ons, what you have not liked and what you want to, what you advise that we avoid. And what I really like about this thread is that a lot of people are coming out of the woodwork who don't like all of the really well-loved and, and popular items. A lot of people are coming out and saying, you know what? It's not for me. Our sponge gels. I really don't like the sponge gels. So it's kind of nice. It's almost like a safe space for people to say that they don't like products and um, it's a really good thread. I haven't seen one like it. So I'm following this one and then I'm also following this winter 2020 add-ons your questions answered. This one is one that FabFitFun always starts for every single sale. Um, oh good my baby went back to sleep. Okay so they always start it for every single sale and it is manned by staff members so you can go on and you can ask questions about like the sale like you can say hey the product 
um, description doesn't match the picture or what's going on here. So you can ask questions like that and they'll help you in the, this thread. And then I'm following another one. This one's uh, Winter 2020 add-on cards. And then here's another one that just got started, the add-on reviews. So I follow a lot of those threads. You can go on there. You can learn a lot about the products that are available. And you can also interact with a lot of the other FabFitFun customers who are also just really, really awesome. So that's another tip that I have. I'm going to go now to the sale and uh, let me close some of these tabs so I don't get confused. I'm going to go into the sale and I'm going to show you my car. Oh no, first, first I want to show you some tricks on navigating the sale if you're new especially. So don't forget to use this search bar um, in case you didn't notice there's the hourglass and not, not hourglass, the magnifying glass in the top left. Uh, and you can use this to search and find products quickly, especially when the sale first opens and you know there's something that you're looking for that you really wanna snag. Use this tool and search for it so that it comes up and you can add it to your cart right away. And you're not disappointed when you scroll and scroll and scroll and you finally get to it and you find out it's already out of stock and it, the sale has only been open for a few minutes. That can be really, really frustrating. So use that. That. and then another thing you want to do this is my cart but I'm gonna show you if you um, see something's out of stock and you didn't get a chance to add it to your cart you can use this little heart on the listing to favorite it it will turn pink or red or whatever color that is and that adds it to your favorites so then you can go up to your favorites here and you can see everything that you've added a heart to, and you can just uh, refresh here to hopefully be able to snag it before the sale ends. And this is what people refer to as the refresh game or whatever. And it, it feels really good when you finally can snag something. It's actually kind of um, sick how good it can feel when you really have been trying to snag something and you are able to do it using this method. And also, if you... Um, uh, yeah, yeah, so I, yeah, <laughs> anyway, sorry, I checked on my baby again and I lost my train of thought. He's fine. So uh, that's a really, really good trick to use is using uh, the favorites tab and, and going here to refresh to try to snack something. So um, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and show you what's in my cart. I will say there are a lot of really highly rated items in this sale. It is kind of hard to actually I'm not having that 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 much difficulty keeping my cart low I have to renew my annual subscription this quarter so or this season so I am just I'm probably gonna buy even less than what you're seeing here but there are a lot of really good products in this sale so I mentioned <clears throat> I am pretty strict with myself when it comes to being cruelty free. Living proof items of all of the hair care products I have used in my hair from the FabFitFun sales, living proof has been the best that I have used for my hair. It works great in my hair and they're very highly rated. Some people don't like them, but for the most part, they're really high, highly rated and well loved. They are owned by Unilever. So Living Proof's cruelty free, kind of like you saw with Murad earlier on in my video. They're cruelty free, but they're owned by Unilever and Unilever is not cruelty free. So I try to steer clear of products like that, but they're just it's just such good hair stuff. <laughs> so I'm very, very tempted to get this. Uh, that's what I have to say about Living Proof products. I haven't used this one in particular, but I have used several of the products from the Perfect Hair Day line, and it's great. It's good stuff. I love the way they their that their products smell. Most of them have the same smell, which is just this like nice high end salon type smell. It's really really good, fresh scent. Um, so I quite likely will get this. And then here's a Flu Frutia Blueberry Hydrating Mask Pack. So this is a Korean beauty company, and I uh, don't typically get sheet masks. I probably won't get this, actually, because I don't like the one-time use of sheet masks. And I, I prefer just having the mask in a jar and using it that way. But 
If you're interested in these, I have seen really good things said about them. I bought the Fruitia Peach Lotion in the last sale and it is really good. It's just like standing underneath a peach tree. It smells like the real fruit. It's not overwhelming. It's really, really lovely. So I've, like I said, I've seen good things about this, said about this. Uh, they have an avid auto, ugh, <laughs> slow down. They have an avocado mask also available in the sale. It looks just like this. And most people are saying that they haven't used that one. That one must be newer, but that they love the blueberry one. That's what I have to say about that. I have heard good things about Pure Hills. This is also <clears throat> K Beauty. And this has really wonderful reviews on like Yes Style and or Face Story, which are the um, sites that have a lot of K Beauty products. This has really, really great reviews. It has propolis, which is if you're vegan, you want to stay away from it's uh, bee, um, it's comes from bees, but it has propolis and niacinamide, which niacinamide is a wonderful ingredient that I wish I saw in more uh, products. It's a wonderful ingredient. So this just seems really, really lovely. I might get this. Um, I have never used a dark color dry, colored dry shampoo for brunettes and I have brown hair. I've just been dealing with the stuff with the white cast and rubbing and rubbing and rubbing. So I'm kind of interested to try this. Such a wan is kind of a newish, I, I've seen it in the past few years. It's a newish company and they're from where are they from sweden that's right and they're they can't come they the, the couple salon a couple guys who work in a salon or have their own salon they work together one's named sasha one's named juan and they combine their names so that's where the name of the company comes from so i might get this just because i want to try a dry shampoo for brun brunettes that's my really long way of saying that I'm going to move on. So I might not get that because I think I can find that cheaper. We'll see. Um, I bought this and my very, very first add on sale with my very, very first box. And these are amazing exfoliating gloves. They work far better than any other like body exfoliator with the actual exfoliating beads in them. This, these make my skin so smooth. I really, really liked them. So I think I'm going to pick up another pair. I bought the Laura Gal blah, blah. I bought the Laura Geller Lash Boss but mascara, just not Lash Boss Max, just regular Lash Boss, in uh, like one or two sales ago, and I have been using it almost every day. I love it. I think it's great, and I am excited to try this Max one. I do like really volumized lashes. I would say with the one that I got, it's more lengthening rather than volumizing. So, um, but it's wonderful. It's not clumpy at all. It goes on really cleanly, smoothly. I really, really, I'm really impressed by it. It had great reviews. So, and then uh, I just love doing my nails. I haven't done them in a while, but I am a sucker for um, nail products. So I'm not going to the salon lately. I need to be doing my nails more at home, but where do I even go anyway? <laughs> okay. That's that aside. Um, so this is what's in my cart right now. I will probably cut a few more things too. I only have, uh, $46 worth of stuff in here, less my $15 purchase credit, um, which thanks to a friend who used my code when she signed up again. Um, so that's my cart. I am now going to go ahead and talk about everything that's in, should I cut, talk about my customizations first? I'll do the customizations last. I will put timestamps in the description box below if you just want to jump around to different parts of um, the video, what I'm talking about. Um, but I'm going to talk about the add-on sale and as much as I can about what's available in the sale. Here we go. So Spongels, they have a big, huge file following. I did see in that thread that I told you about the worst add-on products. People are actually finally coming out and saying, you know, I really don't like the sponge gels that much. I don't use sponge gels, but the things that people were saying on the flip side, so like I said, they're very widely loved. 
Um, but the people who were complaining said that they're very, very rough when you first start using them. And so some people said, yes, first start using them on your feet and then they soften up and you can use them on the rest of your body. Um, and then some people said that they were drying and scratchy. So I guess they can be that way when you first use them, but then they become much softer. That was what I remember reading. Um, Murad products, like I said, I don't use them. I haven't used this one um, as a whole, though. The one, the products of theirs that I have used, generally, I have thought were pretty nice. There were a couple I didn't like so much, but uh, I don't have much to say about them. So uh, another sponge gel. Um, these are great uh, reusable cotton rounds and makeup removers, but you can get. I I still haven't done it yet, but on Amazon you can get like. A pack of 20 for like $12 so once I finally get them I'm gonna do something like that I have not seen um, good reviews on the waxy melting pots you put these in your microwave I've just read that they don't heat well and um, don't they don't heat evenly I mean I don't really know I've never used it I just read that uh, in the forum people were not a fit not fans of the waxy um, I have the color switch. It works really well. It works really well uh, to to wipe off the color from your brush and then switch to the next color on your palette. Basically, like if you're working with eyeshadows and you want to switch between colors, that's basically what that's for. It was in a pass box. I got it in pass box and I do like it. I use it. Pooperies, people say wonderful things about them. I've never used them. Tula, people really like Tula products. I don't know anything about this particular one. Tula is a brand that was uh, founded by a doctor who used to um, work with patients who would take probiotics and she says that she noticed that when they would take them internally that there was a vast improvements with their skin so why not put it on topically and see what can happen there. So the thing with this brand is probiotics. I don't know if probiotics are really all that great topically. I don't know that they're made in South Korea. This is another thing. FabFitFun can often have mistakes in their description boxes. Um, I don't. I didn't know this to be a K Beauty brand. Maybe it is, or maybe maybe it's not, and they happen to make their stuff in South Korea. But anyway, I don't. I didn't know that. I didn't double check that either, but uh, I, what, I, what I said before was correct about it being a found, founded by a doctor and the probiotics thing. Um, I don't know anything about this Murad. Oh, actually, do I? No, I used a purple cleanser of theirs before and it was too drying for my skin, actually. It actually, my earlobes were chapped. It was pain, painful. I wondered what was going on and I realized it was because of their face wash. Um, I have seen very, very mixed reviews. Oh, this is their Enriching Mascara. I was thinking this was the eyelash conditioner, which I think is available in this sale too. I've seen mixed reviews about their um, eyelash conditioner being effective. I, I have this and I have not used it yet. I should have before filming this. I will use it. I haven't filmed my intro, so maybe... Maybe I talked about it in my intro, but I, I got this from Sephora as a birthday gift. So I will try to use it and mention it in my in my intro because I haven't filmed my intro yet for this video, but I, I will try to do that. Okay, I saw somebody say that uh, they really liked this in the forum. Just one person. The Good Patch Her. Uh, okay, so Coco Floss, a lot of people really like this, but some people do sometimes say it's too thick for them and it gets stuck in between their teeth and some people are like, they don't understand what the big deal is about this. Um, I don't really understand what the big deal is either, but I haven't used them, so maybe they're amazing, but people go crazy for it. Dr. Brandt, a lot of people really like their stuff. I don't use it because Dr. Brandt is just straight up not cruelty free. It's not that they're owned by anyone who isn't, they're just not cruelty free. So I don't use their brand, but I have seen a lot of really good things said about their microdermabrasion stuff. Um, oh, this is a pass box favorite. I have one by um, Ann Kestenberg and it I really, really do like it for traveling and it looks almost exactly the same. It is extremely, extremely similar to this. So I like mine a lot. I do. Um, 
play piano. Oh, Kate Somerville is owned by Estee Lauder. And Estee Lauder, according to Cruelty Free, Kitty isn't cruelty free. But on other sites, like I said, you can find conflicting information about certain companies being cruelty free. Just depends on the criteria that the website uses to classify something as cruelty free. So elsewhere, Estee Lauder is listed as cruelty free, I've heard. But cruelty free says, uh, cruelty free Kitty says that they aren't. Anyway. Because of that, I tend to, tend to steer clear of St. Kate Somerville stuff. I also just re recently used their Exfolicate, and it's that's like a cult favorite, and I didn't like it so much, so that was helpful for me to continue to steer clear of them. Anyway, that's my spiel, so I will, I don't, I haven't heard anything about this cleanser, though, um, in particular. Murad, I already talked about Murad. Grown Alchemist, I have used this moisturizer. It is uh, kind of has a richer consistency. It is good. It was good for my dry skin. I thought that it felt really nice and moisturizing and the, it had an extremely mild scent, if any scent at all. I like it very much. I would say I've used there are others that I've used that I like better, but I do like this moisturizer. I do. I like a lot of Grown Alchemist stuff. They're an Australian-based company, and they're all about being cruelty-free and botanical, and they seem to be really growing and doing well. Ilya is a super clean, sustainable, cruelty-free beauty line. And these two products, though, don't have the greatest reviews. They're available at Sephora. These two products don't have the greatest reviews on Sephora, so I dumped them. I do love products like this, but I was I felt fine um, deleting them from my cart after I read a little bit about them on, on Sephora. Uh, I Okay, so there are a few types of items. Uh, if you've watched me, you know what I'm about to say, but there are a few types of items in these sales that I will say blanket statements about and this is one of them electronics I would stay away from electronics in these sales because you can find very comparable items at comparable prices on Amazon where you can comfortably go ahead and purchase it and know that you can return it easily get your money back and find something else if you buy it from um if have fit fun you're kind of you're taking a gamble that you're gonna get it it might be very terrible quality which I've seen a lot of people talk about on the forum issues with their electronics and you are going to get into Kind of a, I've heard there can be really nightmarish situations dealing with FabFitFun and having to exchange or whatever. I mean, if it's downright broken or there's something truly, truly obviously wrong with it, I think you can probably get a credit pretty easily through FabFitFun, but I've just seen people have some really, really terrible issues. So I would stay away from electronics through these sales, my personal opinion. Um... And I have to say, I have bought a hair straightener through FabFitFun that I absolutely love. So there are instances where I'm sure it would be fine. Um, okay, I don't know anything about this. I don't know anything about this. I don't know anything about these two candles. Grown Alchemist, a hand cream. I don't know anything about that particular hand cream, but I do. I have one of the silver products. I'll talk about it later. Juice Beauty, I have really... I really wanted to connect with them as a brand, but I just haven't because they're, you know, clean, sustainable, um, cruelty-free. They they are one of those brands available at Whole Foods that I really love what they are all about. But every time there's a product available of theirs, I look them up and it's just not the best reviews. It's always somewhere between three and four stars. Um, I think there's one product of theirs that has higher than four stars, and I think it's one of their moisturizers, one of their green apple products. But this, I just, I just haven't been able to connect with Juice Beauty as a brand because of that. Oh, here's the Babe Lash Enhancing Eyelash Conditioner that I was talking about earlier. I have seen really, really mixed reviews on this. Some people have said that it works wonders, and some people say that it um, doesn't do anything, they didn't notice anything, and I would say that's pretty well split down the middle, so it sounds like you're really going to take a gamble, but it could work, it could work. Um, I have a micro, I have a micro needle, uh, one of these, I have one of these, 
um, that I just haven't had the courage to use yet. Um, uh, Dermalect, I've used a few of their products, or one of their products, actually, and I really, really liked it. But what I found with that is that they are effective products, but they can be pretty... Uh, they can be pretty shameless with what they will use uh, for ingredients in and you know there are a lot of brands that will say we don't use uh, any of these ingredients and they'll list a bunch of ingredients that they steer clear from Dermalac doesn't seem to care much about that they'll put whatever works into their products and their products do work I'll be honest about that or at least what I've heard okay um, attitude I have heard that people like the Attitude bamboo pillow, uh, sheets and pillowcases a lot. I haven't tried them. Um, oh, this does not have good reviews on Sephora, I believe it is. And I, I was really excited to see Sunday Riley products show up. In, in I think a couple sales ago. Yeah, see, this has just over three stars on Sephora. Sunday Riley ice ceramide moisturizing cream. Um, a lot of people complained, let's see, uh, strongest synthetic smell, smelled like Play-Doh, disgusting, um, had to return, uh, yellowish in color, the scent was bad, um, yeah, so very, really bad reviews. So when Sunday Riley showed up a couple sales ago, I was looking into them and reading about them, and it was found out that the CEO or or someone at Sunday Riley was making the employees go and falsify reviews. And it was going on for a couple of years until they got busted. Uh, so that really, that really kind of soured my view on Sunday Riley. I tried one of their products. I tried a sample of their lactic acid. It was really, really good. The good jeans, that's what it was called. It was really, really enjoyable to use. It was a sample size, so I don't know if it did anything, but that really bummed me out to read that. Um, oh, I need to, I want to, um, I want to do the donation. I want to do a $5 donation, so I need to remember to do that. I decided while I'm at it, while I'm spending so much on here, I can throw in a $5 don donation to whatever the charity is for that particular season. This company is really interesting. I I believe this one, you can get a subscription to tampons. Let me see. And the this has good reviews too. I, I've learned this like a year ago when they were first on here. All these pop-ups. Sorry, I should have... I should have looked into this beforehand. I think it's Bloom. Uh, the people who believe in the power of choices. Okay. Well, I need to, uh, this, I, I shouldn't just be reading now. I believe it's this brand where you can subscribe to their tampons. It may not be, but I really, really was impressed by their brand regardless. They have, it's all about like women's health and, and having a natural and non-toxic products for our bodies when it comes to our periods. I liked it a lot. I'm not sure if this is the one that has a subscription though, but anyway. Sorry about that. So let's see. I don't know anything about that. Oh, somebody said that this uh, wasn't good on the forum, that it broke on them. But that's one person. Who knows? Um, I looked at reviews, and I don't remember what the reviews were on these this, these backup products. But uh, they're on Sephora. Uh, I used the We Are Paradox shampoo and conditioner that was available a couple sales ago. I believe this is a new kind of shampoo and conditioner from them because I couldn't find too much on it and definitely couldn't find reviews on it. I did like the shampoo and conditioner that I used. They are a, a UK-based company, I believe Ireland, actually. Um, 
And the wonderful thing about them is that they're all about not using plastic too. These these bottles are aluminum and I love that so much. Um, so I did like the shampoo and conditioner I got from them. The Voir, I don't know anything about this Voir product, but I will, uh, it has, I do know that it has good reviews actually. It has good reviews on Ulta. So if you are eyeing this, check out the reviews on Ulta for this product. Uh, I I did try another thing of theirs. Um, I'll talk about it in a bit. <laughs> this is another K Beauty brand. Honestly, I will blank. I will say a blanket statement about the K Beauty brands on here. I have not read bad things about any of the K Beauty brands on here. Most of the K Beauty brands that I've seen have really, really good ratings that are available in these sales. Um, okay. Sunday Riley. I gave you my spiel on Sunday Riley. This one's, you can check reviews on Sephora for this product as well. Um, I haven't used the Vosch stuff. Let's see what else. Kate Somerville. I'm going to scroll and if I don't know, I'm just going to gloss right over. Um, have I tried this hand cream? I tried their water hand cream and as a hand cream, it was nice. I got used to it. There was something, there was almost a weird filminess to it. I felt like the first couple of times I used it, but then it was fine. I didn't mind. And people tend to say they prefer this uh, scent over the water one that I did use. So I haven't used this one. Uh, okay. Dr. Brandt, I already said, is just not cruelty free, so I don't buy their stuff. I got one of the room sprays from this brand in the fall box as the FabFitFun choice item, and I like it. I think it's very nice. Stila. These liquid eyeshadows have okay reviews. The complaint that a lot of people have is that they are much more glittery than they thought they would be which I can't see why they look really, really glitter, glittery to me. But then some people said that they would get, and I think glitter, liquid glitter products do tend to do this. They would get like kind of clumpy and not go on smoothly. There were some other complaints too. Um, Huang Jisoo. The Huang Jisoo, I don't know about the hand sanitizer, but the Huang Jisoo products have really good reviews. It's also the, another K-Beauty uh, brand that has great reviews. Um, milk Makeup. I have not seen, this is kind of like a Juice Beauty line, I feel. Like what I just said about Juice Beauty, it's just, you want to you wanna connect with a brand and then you go and pretty much every product you see has between three and four stars and just too too many people complaining for me to feel confident that I'll go and buy it and not be one of those people who it doesn't work for. So I tend to steer clear of the milk makeup stuff. Um, I have this. I got it once and I ended up giving it away as a gift and then I got it again in another box and it smells so good. It's kind of like it says hibiscus, so you would think it would smell kind of maybe, I don't know, tropical and floral a little bit, but to me it smells actually very, very sweet, uh, but in a good way, and I like I like the scent. I haven't actually used it though, so I couldn't speak to it as an exfoliator, but I think it's just salt, so it has, I think it's salt. It has the consistency, when I just rubbed it on my fingers, of a salt scrub, like, um, uh, yeah of a salt scrub. I'm trying to find the ingredient that, oh, walnut shell powder. That's probably fine on the body. I wouldn't, I don't like, I'm not into using walnut shell powder on the face, but that's fine for the body. That is not what I expected. Wow, okay, it's walnut shell powder. Oh, this has pretty decent reviews. The Corez Greek Yogurt Foaming Cleanser. This is a Greek company, uh, and I do like some of their products. Uh, they do in their lotions, and it's common to find it in lotions. It's not in this because this isn't a lotion. Um, they use formaldehyde, formaldehyde releasers, but uh, this has decent reviews, so you can check their reviews. I believe it's on Sephora as well. Yeah, here. Yeah, four and a half stars, different packaging, four and a half stars. So 
I would imagine this would be good for dry. Oh, it says it's good for all skin types. Oh, dryness and redness. So if you have redness. Anyway, I would use it for dryness. Uh, anything with like a yogurt kind of uh, title or makes me think dryness. But I, I don't know. I could be wrong. Anyway, moving on. Okay, so Soon is another K-Beauty brand that uh, people seem to really like a lot. Here's more electronics. Oh, so I have this. And my first impression was that I hated it. But because I saw it available in the sale, I went and tried it again. This is the Ilia Tinted Lip Conditioner in Arabian Nights. And it is very much like a tinted chapstick, like a Bird's Bees tinted chapstick. It feels very, very moisturizing and nourishing. And it stay like it sticks with you. Can You can feel it's moisturizing and nourishing over time if you don't like eat or drink anything. And... Uh, the color is just a tinted red. It's a tinted chapstick, basically. Um, and I was really actually turned off with, by the smell. It smelled like crayons. And then when I tried it again just now for this video, I realized I really appreciated it. It didn't really smell like crayons. It smelled like wax. And it has beeswax in it. And I appreciate it because there there aren't any synthetic fragrances in it to try to mask it. It smelled like lipsticks used to smell, you know, before they started adding all these scents in them. Lipsticks used to smell like the wax that they were made of. So that's what it smells like. So that's what to expect from this. There's, n I can't believe some of these pictures. Like I did not, they must have rubbed a lot on this person to get this color. This is more what it looks like. And I mean, whoa, the difference there, even though their skin tone's supposed to be different, that's just, that's very, very different. Um, it, it, I guess I look more like this person, but it looks like this. This is a very accurate depiction of what it looks like. And that's my review. Is it worth $11? I mean, I guess if you buy a Burt's Bees tinted chapstick, it's probably, what, $5.99? And I would say this is very, very moisturizing and nourishing. So that's my review. It's not as awful as I thought it was. This, on the other hand, the case that Kenzie Radiant Shaver has terrible reviews. There was one, uh, one or two uh, outliers who said that theirs worked fine. They really liked it. But most people said that theirs didn't work right out of the box, that it was piece of piece of piece of bad <laughs> I don't like to swear on my channel I almost did um and then let's see Laura Geller I haven't used any uh shadows by Laura Geller um Bathorium people rave about the Bathorium products so I bought one and I put it in my tub and I didn't smell anything I didn't I have to try it again it was so my first impression is that I was very, very disappointed. I do find when my first impression is disapp disappointment, I use a product again and again, and I realize that it's not as bad as I thought it was initially, but, you know, it's not that great. <laughs> but it's, it, I will know. What I realize is that it just is not for me is what it is, but that there are people out there who could love it. Okay, here's the Juice Beauty. I don't, I haven't, ugh, Juice Beauty. I already said what I was going to say about Juice Beauty. I didn't look up reviews for that one. It's very easy to find reviews on their products. Um, I don't know too, too much about this, but I have seen some people say that the Ahava moisturizers are really great. Ahava products in general are really well received. Uh, let's see, Dr. Brandt. Um... This, what I've seen people say about the Tristique Lip Plumping Balm is that it, although nice, it's never plumping. <laughs> That's all I remember about that. Okay. Oh, this, I thought these bracelets were really, really cute. And then I always, always double check stuff like this on Amazon. And I found, actually, I'm going to show you. Um, I found, um... I found these $15.99 and you can get these, you can get these, which is three different sizes, just like what's available, $13.99. I, 
I see. So, and because the, uh, the, oops, I'm finding my tab. Because the materials of the jewelry in FabFitFun are often just brass or some sort of really, really cheap metal made in China, uh, it doesn't matter that this retail value says $62. I say this all the time. It's not worth $62. So I am going to not get these and look into, I added those bracelets that I just showed you to my cart in my Amazon account. So I am just going to get those if I decide to get something like this. But I do think that these are really cute. I think that they are kind of classy. They'd be good for work. Um, and then I'm going to say a blanket statement about jewelry in general. I don't buy jewelry from FabFitFun because the the materials are always really, really shockingly cheap, especially compared to the retail value of the piece. It just doesn't make sense. It is, it's silly. It's really silly. Um, especially like, like I just saw some people on the forum talking about the LeKaiser rings from the last sale and there were pictures about it, them just totally breaking and they looked all tarnished and terrible and yeah it's just ugh, it doesn't make sense okay moving on oh here's the Corez body butter that I was talking about has formaldehyde releasers in it so that is let me see here this one is a formaldehyde releaser imidazolidinol urea and you could find that out by using skin charisma which was what i showed you earlier on in the video so um that's an ingredient that i have decided i am going to avoid for myself i'm not into that um i've worked with a lot of scientists and when they're dealing with things like formaldehyde and all those preserving agents they use masks and they use a hood they don't open those things right into their face otherwise you know they, they joke about getting nose cancer so putting formaldehyde releasers into our beauty products seems kind of i don't know risky so i am going to move on from that okay oh here is the exfoliate this is a really well loved exfoliating um scrub for the face it is green in color it smells, I, I'm not too good at pinpointing exactly what things smell like, but I, I can come close and it, there's something like nutmeggy about the scent, which isn't bad, but it's not my preferred scent. It's got a very, the grains are very, very fine and there are a lot of them and there's something in it that really, it kind of tingles almost stings and i have seen some people say that it's turned their face completely red and reacted they reacted poorly to it um it does have uh let's see it has ahas which lactic acid is a very very gentle aha but it does have some exfol chemical exfoliation as well as the physical exfoliation going on it's not for me I, my first impression was I did not like it and I've used it a few times now and it's, it's not for me. I'll use it up, but I don't, I don't like it so much, but it's very well loved. It is. Um, okay. I don't know anything about these particular products. Uh, people say good things about this mask. I have it. I haven't tried it yet. I've actually been kind of thinking I'll end up giving it away for Christmas or something. Um, Okay. Okay. Arnco. Arnco, uh, as a brand, I do like some of their products. I have used their moisturizing shampoo and conditioner. It was not moisturizing. I didn't think it did much for my hair at all. And the smell was extremely perfumed. It was too perfumed for me. It was overwhelming. I did not enjoy using it. I used it to use it up. I have read some people do like this cassette uh, shampoo and conditioner, but I have read a lot of people, uh, a lot of reviews that people say it's very drying for their hair. So I haven't seen great reviews for this set. I personally, with R and Co products, they are very daring with their fragrances. They like to make things fragranced and use different kinds of fragrances. So I would say if you can get your hands on this to smell also 
see what you think. I think I remember actually now that I'm talking about it, I think I remember somebody saying this one smelled like citrus. Um, anyway, I'm a little skeptical, especially of their shampoos and conditioners, but people do like them. I'm just skeptical. Uh, okay. Um, moving on. I looked at, I couldn't find much on the Philip Kingsley brand in general. I found some stuff, but not much. Okay. Let's see. I don't know much about the Ciate product. I do like the Ciate brand, Italian line. Um, I am, oh, Jouer. I was really excited to see Jouer products in here. I, I've used one Jouer product and I really, really liked it. I decided not to get any of their, um, their products that are available in this sale because I don't, I just don't need any of the types of products that they have available. Isntree is a Cade Beauty line. Everything I found, uh, great reviews on their products. Winky Lux, such a cute little brand available at Target. One of these days I want to try something by them. Uh, let's see, I already said my spiel on Dr. Brandt, but I do think, oh, this is a neck cream. A lot of people really like the DNA moisturizer, the Do Not Age, Age Moisturizer from Dr. Brandt. This is the neck cream though, which I don't know anything about, but anyway, I have, I have this, I have this. Yes, this is the one I have. So my husband actually found this at TJ Maxx. I've, we've started to see their stuff at TJ Maxx and um, I got it, it was like $5.99. And it is as far as a moisturizer, it's a very, very good moisturizer. It's not greasy, not sticky, absorbs well, absorbs quickly. It doesn't smell, now this says it's uh, Rosa de Macena, Acai, and Pomegranate. There's always at least one thing in their ingredients or in the names that of their products that I just don't know what it is. But it doesn't really smell like any of those things. It has... A very very subtle floral scent but it's mostly like kind of musky and spicy it's very interesting it's not acai and pomegranate though yeah I'm just double checking mine right now which happens to be right next to me and it doesn't smell like berry or pomegranate to me at all it's really interesting I, I like it as a scent but I could see it not being for everybody okay the Maria Shireen bracelet. I was so excited when I saw this and got this in one of the sales, one of my first sales that I shopped. And I have not used it once. Not once. And also, it's very, very lightweight. It's really interesting. Oh, that's why. It's stainless steel. Uh, it's very, very lightweight, which is great. But it's really, really solid and, and rigid. Anyway, I just, I not once did I use it not once <laughs> okay oh here they did an eye cream too the do not age line anyway don't know anything about the eye cream oh i've talked about this i was sent this by a subscriber friend i am so so grateful to and i am so delightfully surprised by it i did not expect that it really is an everyday essential eye set it uh let's see the one is matte Let's see, I think the brown one is matte. So these are crayons. So these are eyeshadow crayons. And two of them, oh, okay, blah. One is an eyeliner, two of them are eyeshadow crayons, and one is a brow pencil. And they are very easy to use. They work well. You can get super quick, super easy eye looks with these. Um, I was very pleasant, pleasantly surprised by it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, somebody, one person spoke up on the forum about this and said that they hated it and it smelled like old Crisco. That's what they said. <laughs> um, okay. The London Town Nail Polishes. I really like them. I have the illuminated, Illuminating Nail Concealer and that's really nice. It's like a little bit of sheer color just to make your nails look clean. Um, now their colors, 
and they're these actually these are this only one of this is a cut with these blah, only one of these is a color the others are cuticle oil and cuticle remover anyway what i was going to say though about their colors is their colors are great they last fairly well but what's wonderful about this brand is that they're 18 free i believe 18 free maybe 12 free anyway they're one of those uh nail polish brands that don't use a lot of the really toxic nail polish ingredients in their things that's what I wanted to say. Okay. Um, Ilya Light Serum Highlighter. Oh, I didn't look this one up. You can find reviews about the, on this um, on Sephora. I like the Ilya line. I do just because of how clean and sustainable and, and all of that that they are. Uh, I'm getting their mascara in the box. I'll show you my customizations. Um, this is a physical exfoliant. I remember trying to figure that out and realizing that it's a physical exfoliant. I thought maybe it was a chemical exfoliant for the body, but it is not. Or maybe it has both. Now I'm doubting myself. Uh, let's see. I don't remember now I'm looking at the ingredients and I thought I had found the exfoliating ingredient I don't see it though now so I'm not sure scratch that scratch that I'm not sure if this is this physical physical or chemical exfoliating um, product okay I'm gonna move on sorry I'm not sure uh, I have used one Rodeo product and it's a mascara, so I don't know, but I was looking at the ingredients on this and I just wanted to point out that this is a moisturizing mask and it has silicones. It has three silicones in the first set of ingredients, which really kind of bothers me. I, ha I think that silicones have a place in skin care. I do. But I don't think that they have, for me, I wouldn't want them in a mask. I feel like it's a way to make something feel softer than it is because silicones naturally feel, not naturally, they're not natural, but they feel slick and soft. And I just, I don't know. I wouldn't get this for myself because of that. And then hyaluronic acid is way down here. Hyaluronic acid is often a little lower. I feel I've seen it a little lower on the list of ingredients, but this one's almost at the end. Anyway, the ingredients on this one kind of made me raise an eyebrow a little bit. But for the most part, what I see people say about Rodeo products is that they really, really like them. So uh, don't mind me. <laughs> okay. Um... Let's see, clothes, another blanket statement. I steer clear of clothes, although I have purchased a pea coat on FabFitFun, and if I could go back, I wouldn't have done it. Um, I steer clear of the clothes because, you know, it's a, kind of similar pricing to Ross or TJ Maxx, and at Ross and TJ Maxx, you can try them on and know that you like it. Um, whereas if you get it from FabFitFun, you could end up in a situation where it doesn't fit right, and you can't easily get your money back or exchange or whatever, return it with that fit fun. Um, I'm going to make a blanket statement about hair tools. Unless you are darn sure and you can find a lot of really good reviews to support the purchase on FabFitFun, I would, you know, look for a sale at Ulta or Sephora or Target or Costco or something on these kinds of products and buy it there where you know you can return it. Amazon, um, buy it where you know you can return it if it doesn't work out. Uh, okay. Uh, so Foxy Bay tools though, they do have good reviews. So, you know, just make sure you can find some good reviews to back up the purchase. Sigma brushes. I had both of them in my, by blah, both of them in my cart. I ended up dumping them because I really don't need to spend much money in the sale. Like I said, my, I'm renewing my annual subscription this sale. So that's $180 or something like that right, right off the bat. But, uh, 
these brushes are highly recommended like all over YouTube. If you watch beauty YouTubers, um, they're recommended all over the place. Um, I don't know anything about this Kopari, this particular Kopari product. Kopari stuff is really well liked though. Okay, let's see. More Bloom stuff. Oh, gosh, I think this is the company that does the subscription. I'm not sure because there's another company that's very similar to this one that sometimes has products in these sales and it could be that company that I'm thinking about. Um, Lashes MD eyelash conditioner. I This is kind of like Babe Lash. I've seen really split uh, reviews about whether or not it worked for them. More Corez. Oh, this has, I believe this one has good reviews. I did, I did look this up one, this one up and I think it had good reviews if I can remember. Just over four stars on Sephora. Becca is such a cute line. I've only used one thing by them. Uh, okay, let's see. Oh, Hear Me Raw. The Hear Me Raw face masks. I have these in my cart too. They have good reviews. Really good reviews. A lot of them. I just don't need things right now. I don't need more products. I don't know if it's the quarantine or what, but I have been comfort shopping and I don't need to keep doing it. Uh, Isntree, good reviews. Algenist, their stuff has good reviews. Um, in general, you can find reviews on Sephora for them. Um, I talked about Sasha Wan. Talked about Bithorium. Ooh, this lady's stuff. Dr. Lara, Lara, Lara Devgan. Her stuff has amazing reviews. This is like clinical grade skincare. Great reviews. All of her things. I'm really tempted to get something from her. I'm, I've got my eye on it now though. Wow, good reviews. Okay. Huang Jisoo, this one has good reviews. I already mentioned their products have great reviews. Uh, Paracone, the no makeup makeup stuff from Paracone, mixed reviews. Some people, some people even said it smelled like a uh, fish oil to them. I believe it was um, some of these for the products from them. Anyway, I could see this actually be being really good, especially if you're you're somebody who has like uneven color on your eyelids and you just want something very subtle um, or if you have like veiny eyelids um, make but it doesn't have uh, the greatest most glowing reviews I talked about clothes I talked about electronics um, let's see what else do I know about in here oh this is a tempting product <laughs> the Huna Revitalize Age Grace Face Serum, Canadian, Canadian, Canadian. Uh, this is their signature product. Great reviews. I don't need more products. I just don't need more products right now. Uh, um, but it, yeah, I was very tempted with that one. Um, London Town, they have a hand cream. I don't know anything about it, but... Uh, Here's more Hear Me Raw, great reviews. This looks like a clay mask of theirs. Oh, this has really, really good reviews. It is, um, uh, blah, blah, blah. It is meant for short hair. I almost got it for my husband, but he has a couple other products that he likes that he's using that I got him for his hair. But this looks like it works really, really well for short hair. I just, living proof works really well but I, I some people say they don't like their stuff but for the most part they have great reviews okay bio effect I was impressed by this why was I impressed by this is this the Icelandic yes Icelandic I think clinical skincare and they claim to have found a 
um, they've claimed to have been able to recreate elastin and collagen. Let's see. Um, uh, in barley, they made a human replica. <laughs> They made a human replica of epidermal growth factor in barley plants. That's a helping boost, boost production of collagen and elastin to maintain healthy, dense, dense and youthful skin. Boy, does that sell a woman who is approaching her 40s on a line of skincare, let me tell you. So I was very, very intrigued by this brand. Uh... And good reviews too. They're on Sephora. Let's double check that. But yeah, good reviews. Um, one of one of their products had really great reviews. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Sorry. Uh, here. This one is not there. Darn. Okay, I'm not gonna waste any more time. I'm pretty sure they have two products available in here, and I'm pretty sure the other one was on Sephora. Double check me on that, but. Regardless, I was really interested in what they had to say about the science behind it. Be beaker bottles, BKR bottles, I always want to call them beaker bottles, really have a like a cult following. Keep in mind, if you're interested, they have a really, really narrow opening to the top, and some people complain that you can't get ice in them easily. The Holy Frog face washes have great reviews. Great reviews, both of the ones available in the sale. Oh, I talked a lot about this in the fall box because um, I did the research then. And this, I remember, it smells like roses, somebody said. Also, Erna Laszlo started selling in China in like 2017, which makes them, which removes their cruelty-free status. Uh, and someone said it smelled like roses, which I am not a fan of. I want to make sure that that's correct. Smells like roses. Yum. I don't like roses in, uh, well, no. I like a well done rose scent. Most of the time, I don't think it's well done. So I'm very, very picky when it comes to that scent. This does have great reviews though. So if you're looking at it, it only has 15 reviews. So I wonder if it's a newer product of theirs. Um, Erna Laszlo's stuff is really, really uh, well loved in general. Oh, I really liked this company, what they had to say on their website. They make dietary supplements, and in their About Us, they talked about how um, a lot of dietary supplements are uh, just packed with fillers and preservatives and things that aren't the greatest for us and don't necessarily work like they should, and they're unregulated and all of that. And then they go on to say, of course, the best uh, place to find proper vitamins and nutrients is in your diet. But if that's not working for for you, then also take our uh, vitamins. So I really, really like that. So if you're having difficulty sleeping, this is valerian root and it could help you with that. Um, this one is another K-Beauty product that has a lot of great reviews. Actually, this particular product of theirs, I couldn't find too many, but this brand in general, I did find a lot of really uh, good reviews on their products. Um, ooh, this grown, grown Alchemist mask, it, mask is one of the best clay-like masks I have ever used. It smells really, really lovely, like spa-like and botanical, and it was very, very clarifying, and my skin felt great after taking it off. I do recommend if you get it, though, definitely use it before the expiration, because although it still smells great and works great, it doesn't work like it did in the beginning anymore for me, and I I feel like usually I get more longevity out of products than I did with this one, but it is really, really lovely. Um, I am very intrigued by this brand. They've been in a lot of subscription boxes. I've never used anything by them. There, was, there are a lot of reviews for their products on Influencer. If you've used anything by them, leave a comment down below. I'm curious what you think. I haven't found enough reviews to make me feel comfortable getting anything from them. Oh, this Ahava product has amazing reviews on Ulta. 
I was really tempted to get it. Again, I don't need more things right now. Really tempted to get it. This was in my cart for a while. Definitely look at their reviews if you're interested in getting in that. Getting that. Uh, this is a really unique uh, uh, line of products. This is these are made for women of color or geared toward women of color, which I think is great. I was watching a video. Uh, it was like a, somebody talking about how it feels as a as a woman of color going into like a beauty place and seeing all white women working there and all the products geared toward white women and how that can make them feel. So it was, it was cool to see this. Um, and hang on, hang on. He's, he's been doing that. Um, okay, sorry, I just had to tell my husband that the baby's fine. Um, okay, and then, let's see. Talked about this brand. Oh, the When stuff. I couldn't find much on their line. That's another one. If you've used their things, I saw some people on the forum saying that they, uh, one person said that they really liked their stuff and then a few other people said that they were disappointed or that like they weren't very impressed by their stuff. This one, the Skin & Co Truffle Therapy Serum. Again, amazing, amazing reviews on Ulta. The Truffle line from Skin & Co has great reviews. They're made in Italy and their about page is really cool. I am really interested in trying more by Skin & Co. Once I need the kinds of products that they have available, I just don't need any more. Um, okay, Sinaj, I tried some of their stuff and I was not terribly impressed. I was not really impressed by their brand. Uh... Blue light blockers. I'm just going to talk in general. I do recommend these. I recommend finding them for maybe cheaper if you can on Amazon. But um, these work so well. When I use them at night and I'm looking at my computer screen, I don't get hypnotized by my computer screen and I actually find myself getting sleep sleepy and it's easier to get off the computer and I don't get as many headaches. They're great. I really, really like using them. Um, I also really, <laughs> uh, speaking of my husband just handed me mine to put on. So, okay. <laughs> uh, this company also, I was really impressed by this company. They, some of their proceeds go to some charities. Um, okay. I don't know anything about these brushes, but I have to say I was very intrigued by them, um, and their website or the company's website. Okay. Moving right along. Oh, Immunicology. I didn't realize this was in here. I like this line. Um, very, very high end. They are, they spare no expense in their ingredients and making sure that they have the most sustainable practices. And so that's why the retail price is so outlandish. Uh, but they do make great products. I know some people who swear by their products, actually. Um, okay, let's see. Um, oh, Ren, is this? I am trying, I'm sorry, I'm having to remind myself. Yes, clean at Sephora. Clean at Sephora. This one doesn't have the greatest reviews, though. But, um, yeah, this, uh, so, okay, okay, this brand is clean at Sephora, but this, it doesn't have good reviews, so I wouldn't pick this up, um, but, I, yeah, okay, I was remembering correctly. I do so much research, and there are so many products that sometimes I worry I'm mixing things up. That's why I have to double check, and you've seen me do that, but that way I don't, I am less likely to make a mistake, uh, so this doesn't have good reviews. <laughs> I wouldn't get that if I were you. 
the Graydon skincare stuff I find intriguing. Um, not enough reviews out there to make me feel comfortable getting it, but I am definitely intrigued. I have my eye on it. Um, I don't know too much about the Kelly Cosmetics. They're made in Sicily. Sicily? Made in China. They're a Sicilian company. Um, the Taraco line. We got a foot cream in a past box, recent box, uh, from them, and I haven't seen... I've seen a couple people say they liked it, but I've seen people also say they didn't like it. Same with their hand cream, and that's the same company. <clears throat> okay, we've got more electronics, more clothes. I talked about, oh, I don't know anything about this line. Okay, I kind of gloss over those. Laura Devgan, Le Devgan I don't know how to say it, uh, but I, God. Her stuff has such great reviews. She is a doctor. She's in plastic surgery. She lives in Manhattan. She has a line of skincare and she uh, has like six kids or something. Anyway, I her stuff has such good reviews. Okay. Dermalectives. This one is on Walmart. For $900 and so I checked their site and it was originally $900 and it was marked down to $245 and here we can get it for a whopping $51 I am intrigued by this line as well uh, although I was surprised to see alcohol denatured alcohol and as a second ingredient in this um, so that was a little strange nine hundred dollars anyway this claims to this this line claims to have found a way to um so they say that collagen really you can only get it into the skin if you inject it and they claim to have found a way to make sure it gets into your skin topically basically so i that's just kind of an interesting brand there okay flight mode same people who do the black stuff, the LAQ stuff, and Generation Clay. Same same company. Um, so if you like those other things, maybe you'll like the flight mode stuff. I haven't used any other stuff. This is that uh, same brand, the Canadian one that I mentioned earlier that had that signature project product that I was really intrigued by. Here's another Dermalectives. I just talked about them. Talked about Graydon. Uh, talked about Graydon. Don't remember what I read about Pi. Uh, they're a UK company. Other than that, I don't remember. I'm sorry. Don't want to try to remember. There's more Paradox stuff. I didn't find a lot of reviews on this product, though. Not enough to feel confident telling you anything. Okay, um, this is baby products, and I, I have a baby, anyway, Danish company. Oh gosh, what did I read about this? Nothing really that impressed me, so I'm just going to move on. This is a woman-owned company. I haven't um, seen it take off much since being available in Fun. Uh, this is on Sephora, I believe, so if you wanted to, yeah, Sephora, really good reviews, only 10, but really, really good reviews for comfort. Oh, oh, so it's a pain relief cream. Uh, okay, well, there you go. You know, a lot of, oh, I talked about this company already. I, a lot of people really go for the green goo stuff and the tins. I got a dry skin one, and I gotta say, it just sits in my cabinet. It, uh, I don't use it at all. And it feels kind of oily. It's definitely a mixture of oils. I don't use it at all. I, oh, silked. Two pillows, sleeves, silk front, rayon, and spandex back. Oh, it is really silk. 
that could be good actually i think the silk brand is is i think that it's on sephora double check me on that lara devgan again let's see what else do i know anything about here's another k beauty line um that one had less reviews than i could find on most of the others but uh yeah the reviews i could find were good on on their products in general i don't know about that particular product okay let's see what else do i know about more clothes i talked about clothes i talked about electronics and the hair tools my thoughts on those oh they have some really beautiful bags in these sales Oh, I swear, one of these days I might spring for a nice uh, bag. Lots and lots of clothes in the sale. Home stuff. My husband and I, if you're a Costco member and you need a rug, my husband and I were furnishing our house we bought uh, back in April. And we have bought four, four really decent rugs from Costco at great, at great prices. And... Costco, you can return easily, no questions asked. So that's another item where I, I just wouldn't, I wouldn't consider getting it from the sale. Um, oh, cosmetics. I remember this brand. I got something from them in a cause box. I wasn't impressed by it. It wasn't that product though. So I'm not going to say anymore. I don't know about that product. Close, close, close. I already gave my blanket statement about clothes. I have a similar blanket statement about other home furnishing type stuff. Just, I, I've, I've just seen so many people complaining about horrible um, issues they've run into with products they've received like that. That I'm dealing with fat fit fun customer service. Invisibobble, some people are coming onto that thread that I showed you in the beginning on the worst products, um, finally sharing about how they can't stand Invisibobbles, but, and it's funny to see that when generally you see people just raving about them. I saw somebody uh, on the forum swatch this and it looked very similar to this swatch uh, and they said it just wasn't anything special. They don't reach for it much. This is an insane deal, um, but the lotions don't have like rave, like nobody raves about them. But if you just want like okay hand creams um, for a cheap price, then you could get that, I suppose. People rave about these. Do note that they are very, very small. They're good for like nuts and like portion control and maybe mixing bowls, things like that. People love the Mighty Patch. They really work for me. I would say they only really work if you have like a white head that's exposed. Some people say that they work on their deep, deeper blemishes though. I would, they don't for me. Not for me. Here's the Unhide Blanket that people just rave about. Supposedly it feels like synthetic chinchilla and I have pet a chinchilla and chinchillas are incredibly soft so soft that I even considered getting one briefly, but there are a lot of work to take care of, so. <laughs> um, okay, what else? I talked about Caress. Oh, no, I haven't used that Living Proof product. Never mind, almost talked about it. Okay. Oh, people say that this is wonderful, but very, very messy. And some people say it's not worth it how messy it is. I actually have it. I haven't used it yet. A little nervous too, because people say it's so messy. I'm intrigued by this r &Co product. Um, I've used some of their actual styling products, which I have been happy with, happier with than their um, shampoo and conditioner uh, that I used that I mentioned earlier. And I have had so much postpartum hair loss that I was considering getting this because it's a volumizing spray, but it'll, it'll go out. Oh, my hair will grow back. It'll be fine. Okay. 
more Joie. I was excited to see Joie and surprised I didn't end up getting anything. Oh, for the most part, people hated these, but I have seen like a handful of people say that they loved them, but for the most part, they hated them. I have these and I'm almost done with them. My first impression that it, it was like hard pass. Now that I have, I have used them and I'm almost done with them, I would not buy them again. I don't think that they're as awful as I first thought. They haven't really done anything to speak up for my hair. Uh, they haven't damaged my hair, but I don't feel like my hair is wonderfully hydrated or feels smooth or anything great after I use them. Um, they're, it's fine. They're fine for me. They have a solid four stars on Ulta. Um, and then also I didn't like the smell at first and now I've gotten used to the smell. The shampoo smells fragranced. It smells like a shampoo, kind of any old shampoo might smell. And then the conditioner has like a spice smell. Again, I can't put my finger on exactly what kind of spice, but it's like I was talking about something else earlier that smelled like spice, but this one is like a cardamom or a turmeric or something. Um, it's not bad though, but it's just kind of a unique scent that I wouldn't really pick. And um, yeah, so that I, it's not for me. I wouldn't get it again, absolutely. I'm glad that I'm almost done, but I don't hate it nearly as much as when I first tried them. Uh, like I said, reviews on Ulta, a lot of people really, really love, love it, love these. So that's just my experience. Okay, what else? Oh, I tried their facial oil. So I bet, the, and I loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. I wonder how that bar of soap is. I don't know. I, um, I get the Trader Joe's one and it's fine. Oh, these I tried and they are surprisingly hydrating and cooling. I like them a lot. Um, let's see. Anything else? I think I tried this. I don't understand what it's supposed to do, what it's even for. It did nothing for my hair. There are some people who like it, but for the most part, I've seen people kind of say similar things that I do about it. It's just kind of like, it doesn't really do much. Um, I talked about the London Town nail polishes. Mm. Oh, I've, uh, these are, somebody said that these are like votive size that the, it's very, very thin tin around it. Basically that they were kind of a little bit cheap feeling. Um, that was somebody on the forum. Uh, let's see. This is another K Beauty brand. Great reviews. I saw a YouTube video on these. And the person swatching them was uh, kind of disappointed with them. Oh, I have this from Living Proof. And I have to say, I don't really get it. You're, it's supposed to be like a mask for your hair, but not like, a, like an overnight sleeping mask. And kind of like a pre-shampoo treatment even. I don't really get it. I it, it doesn't do much for my hair. This is a living proof thing that I don't understand. I wouldn't repurchase it. Um, oh, I have this from a past box and I would want to use it around my eyes, but it's so bright that I <clears throat> don't like to. It's too bright. But I have heard from a dermatologist, actually, that light therapy can be effective. So I'm going to try to figure out how to use them. It. How to use it. I've talked about the jewelry, the clothes. Let's see. Do I have anything else to say about these? I'm, I'm, don't forget, I'm going to go through my customization choices. Okay, so that's the sale. Now... 
these are the customization choices that I picked. I did a video, a spoilers video, customization spoilers video, where I talked uh, in more detail about what I think of each of the products that are available, and I will link that in the description box below. So if you want to know that, you can go ahead and watch that video. But right now, I'm just going to quickly go through what I chose. So this is the first customization. I picked the Unhide Blanket. People love them. I have one from Passbox. I haven't opened it. Uh, again, it's supposed to feel like chinchilla. I was going to gift it, but I decided I would go ahead and keep it because people just love it so much. But now I'll get a second one that I can I can gift one of them and keep one for myself. If it's that amazing, it will probably be an amazing gift. So I picked the Unhide Blanket. Then for the next uh, customization choice, I picked the scarf for myself. It's Lucky Brand. I imagine it probably feels quite nice. And then um, I added on the mugs thinking that they could be a really cute gift uh, at some point for Christmas or for a birthday. I like keeping a gift stash. Uh, for this, so that was customization two. This is customization three. I am picking the mascara. It has really, really good reviews. I love mascaras. I really do. It's That's one of my favorite beauty products. You know, if you could pick a couple, if you could pick like two beauty products that you could use the rest of your life, mascara would be one of them. And then uh, long lasting lip color would be the other one. But anyway, I love mascaras. Next, <laughs> the next customization. I talked about the Vora products already and that I wasn't a fan of the shampoo and conditioner that I used, but I don't really want anything else in this choice. So I'm going to get the hair mask from this choice. Uh, now that I'm looking at the flight mode, maybe I'll switch to the hydration skin mask. I'm not sure, but right now I have the hair mask picked and I'll probably stick with that. <clears throat> and then for this customization choice, I picked the eye gels, Putinique Beauty Guardian Angel Revitalizing Eye Gels. Wow, that was a mouthful. mouthful. So then for that, and then for the boosters, um, oh, and then there's this new thing that Fab Fit Fun is doing, and it's called their refill. So you can pick and subscribe to a moisturizer. Well, this time it's moisturizers. Maybe they'll do something different down the road. But you can either pick the Dr. Brandt DNA, the Do Not Age, that I talked about earlier. This is a really, really well-loved moisturizer. Look, it retails for $132, and you can get it for $35 bucks per season. So you can get seasonally. Um, your favorite moisturizer refilled basically so you can get that you can get the matte balancing moisturizer from grown alchemist which if you have if you use matte if you see matte if you didn't know this if you see the word matte you can pretty much guess that that's for oily skin here it says oily combination so oily or combination skin so matte goes with oily skin um, so you could get that or you could get the Paracone MD Finishing and Firming Moisturizer. I personally like to try different things so much that this I wouldn't do this. Also, I don't want any of these anyway. Um, but this is a really cool new thing that they're doing. I, if you love this do it D DNA by Dr. Brandt, that's an amazing, amazing deal. Anyway, okay, so there's that. And then they did the boosters again. So for the boosters... Everything sold out. Wow. I am boosting with the Living Proof Restore Replenish Bundle. So of the Living Proof products that I've used, the Restore Hair Mask, so that's not in here, but the Light Purple Hair Mask is the best product I've ever used in my hair. The best. And that says a lot because I am a hair product junkie and it was amazing. I, I can't the living proof really got it right at least when it comes to my hair so I am gonna go ahead and get a little more lenient with my cruelty free stuff and and I'm gonna get that as a bundle this is an amazing deal this is an amazing deal <laughs> anyway okay <laughs> uh, so I was really really intrigued by some of the Marc Jacobs stuff they had available so they had this uh, in case you didn't know they had a couple of Marc Jacobs options. This one is a peach creamy, a rich creamy lipstick in a peachy color, um, plus a coconut face 
primer, Blurring Coconut Face Primer. So you could get this one, or you could get this other one that just had it with uh, Sugar Sugar, which I guess is a, kind of this lighter nude color uh, if, of lipstick, and then also the primer. So just a different color lipstick. Or you could have gotten uh, this necklace, uh, $195 value, sterling silver, thank you, finally, decent material. Had I read that, I might have uh, boosted my box with this too. Uh, and then, wow, it's a diamond. I, You know what? I saw this and I assumed that it was another piece of junk jewelry. Not junk, that was harsh. Another piece of jewelry made out of cheaper metal. But this, wow. I am kicking myself. I should have looked at it. Uh, that's a really good little piece there. Um, or you could have gotten this diffuser, which I am not into diffusers um, really at all. And then also my husband's scent sensitive, so I don't, I wouldn't even consider it for that reason too. But so that's it. So that's it. That's, that's it. That's my video. Thank you for joining me. I hope that you found it helpful. Please comment in the, uh, uh, comment below if you have anything to add or, um, anything like that. And I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.